Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we are learning how to calculate volumes of 3D shapes. So we're going to start with a cube. This is a cube here. It's a 3D shape with squares on each side. So each length of the cube is the same. The width is x, the length is x, and the height is x. So the volume is given by x times x times x, or x cubed. Let's see an example. So we've got this cube, which is 3 centimetres by 3 centimetres by 3 centimetres, which is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27 centimetres cubed. And that's the final answer. Remember the units for all of these questions. Put the units on the end, otherwise you will lose some marks. Now let's look at prisms. Prisms are 2D shapes that are stretched. Here I've got a triangle, a square and a circle and I stretch them. So they look like this. The rule for the volume of these is we work out the area of the top and then multiply it by the length. We call this area on top the cross-sectional area. Okay. For a triangle, you do half the base times the height. For a rectangle, you do the um, base times the width. And for a circle, you do pi r squared. If you can't remember how to work out the area of 2D shapes, I have a video on triangles and rectangles, and I also have a separate video on area of a circle. You should go watch that now if you do not remember how to do that. Let's do an example where we're working out the area, the volume of a triangular prism. So the volume is given by cross-sectional area times length, and we're going to work out the cross-sectional area first. That's the base times the height. So we're working out the area of this uh, triangle here. The base is 4 metres, the height is 5 metres, so we put those numbers into the equation. 4 times 5 is 20, times a half is 10, the area is 10 centimetres squared. We then multiply that by 3 because the length of the prism is 3, so the volume is 10 times 3, 30 metres cubed. Again, I remember the units. Okay? Now we're looking at pyramids. Here are some pyramids. And on the base of these pyramids, this pyramid has a square, so we call it a square-based pyramid. This pyramid over here is called triangular-based pyramid because it's got a triangle on the bottom of the pyramid. And you can see that from the top as well. The, uh, the equation is volume equals a third times the base times the height. The base is the area of the entire base, no matter what shape it is. So let's see an example. Uh, again, this is the base here. We're interested in this pyramid here. The base is a square, which is 6 centimetres by 6 centimetres. So the area of that uh, square will be 6 times 6, which is 36. So the volume of this pyramid will be given by a third times 36 times 5, which is the height. Again, the 36 is just the area of the base. A third times 36 times 5 is 60 centimetres cubed. And I remember the units again. Okay. Finally, we're looking at spheres. Spheres are just balls. Like this. And the volume is given by... If you know the radius, it's 4 thirds pi r cubed. Let's do an example. So here the uh, radius is 7 millimetres. And it's 4 thirds times pi times 7 cubed. If we type 4 thirds times 7 cubed into a calculator, we get 130, uh, 1,372 over 3. And then we can just multiply it by pi. Sometimes in your exam, it will ask you to write it in terms of pi, in terms of pi, and you will leave it in this form. If you wanted the answer as a decimal, you can work it out with a calculator. 
and you can round it to three significant figures as you normally would, like this. And so uh, in your, if you're an examiner, it says give your answer in terms of pi, you give this answer. If you wanted it as a number, as a decimal, you would write it like this. Okay? Now, some practice for you here. I've got a square base pyramid, a cylinder, and a cuboid. And the dimensions are given here. I'd like you to pause the video now uh, and try this yourself. Uh, when you're ready, you may press play and I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. And there we are. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. If you've got any questions about today's video, please comment below or email me at advancedmaths at gmail.com. If you want more videos like this, remember to subscribe to the channel. If you would like a specific video I'm making in the future, please comment below and tell me what subjects you're struggling with at school and I will make videos for you. Thank you and have a good day. Good luck in your exams.